Today's IXL lesson is U2. Um, last week we did U1, which was about identifying fact and opinion. Today we're looking for um, author statements of opinion within the writing. So you're going to be looking to see, hmm, where's the opinion in this writing? Now remember, opinions are kind of like what you feel, what you think. Someone else might disagree with you on opinions, uh, it's, but it's it's kind of a cool thing. You want to in life be able to sort out fact from opinion because because it's important to know the difference. So here we go. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is the scariest Harry Potter book. The book begins during the summer after Harry's first year at his school, Hogwarts. An elf named Dobby appears and warns Harry of danger at the school. So which of these sounded like an opinion? Opinion. Any thoughts on that? Did you see it in the first sentence, the second, or the third? So let's look at the second sentence. The book begins during the summer after Harry's first year to school, Hogwarts. So that all sounds like facts, because that's just evidence of things that happened in his life. How about the last paragraph, or the last sentence? An elf named Dobby appears and warns Harry of danger at school. Yeah, that's not someone's feeling or opinion either. So let's go back to the first sentence. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is the scariest Harry Potter book. So which word in there makes this be an opinion? Yeah, scariest. Um, so we are going to choose this sentence because that has the opinion in it. So opinions so, so many times are feelings. Oh, this was the best or that was the worst or you have to get this because it's so amazing. We got it right. Let's look at the next one. We're looking for opinion again. The ancient Maya people lived for many years in Central America. Spanish explorers arrived in the early 1500s and took over the lands of the Mayan people. The arrival of the explorers was the saddest thing to happen to the Maya. What do you think? Which one sounds like a feeling? Um, the first sentence really had fact. The ancient Maya lived for many years in Central America. Spanish explorers arrived in the early 1500s and took over the lands of the Mayan people. That's another fact. But, but what's the word in this last sentence that must then be opinion? Yep, it's the word saddest. It was the saddest thing. And that's opinion. Although most people would think it's saddest, someone might say, no, I don't think so. I think there was something that was worse. All right, so one thing you might want to do is read each sentence slow and think, hmm, is there an opinion in that one? Tammy the magician is a terrible magician. She did a trick where she was supposed to make a card disappear. Does that sound like opinion? My brother and I were sitting in the front row at her show, and we could see the card down her sleeve. That's kind of fact, too. So, yep, it must be the first sentence. What was what was the opinion in that sense? Yeah, she was terrible. Someone else might say, oh my gosh, she was amazing. So, Cairo is the most interesting city in Egypt. Did you hear opinion in that sense? Yeah, I kind of did. Hmm. It is the country's capital. Is that a fact or opinion? That was a fact. Cairo is the home to bazaars or large markets where shoppers can find things like flowers, phones, and clothing. That was a fact too. So what was the word then in the first sentence that made it opinion? Yeah, it was the most interesting city. Someone else might say, oh, no, no, it's not. It's, there's another one that's better. So we're going to choose that. We'll do one more. We're looking for opinion again. Sir Ernest Shackleton, a British explorer who led trips to the Antarctic, was a true hero. Did you hear opinion in that one? Hmm, we'll keep reading. During one expedition, Shackleton's ship sunk and he and his crew were stranded for almost two years. Fact or opinion in that one? They camped on ice blocks in the middle of the ocean and played games to keep their spirits up. What do you think? Which one was opinion? See, the last two sentences really pretty much were what they did and no one's gonna argue with that for the most part. So what could be the opinion in the first sentence? Yeah, I would say calling him a true hero. Because someone might say, oh no, he wasn't a true hero. Someone else was. 
So I think we're gonna pick that one. We did it. All right, so that's what you're gonna do. You wanna read each sentence, think about each sentence. Where is the opinion? And you will do awesome. Good luck on you too.